Good morning, everyone. Um, um, I'd like to introduce you to the uh, topic today on changing perspectives and goals of English uh, language and literature teaching and learning. Um, the objectives uh, for today's uh, meeting is to explain the changes, um, the uh, latest changes of uh, goals of um, language and literature learning and uh, it's uh, in, oh, no no to explain changes in a I think uh, we are in meeting number four yeah uh, and its implications on methods of English language um, uh, teaching or methodology <clears throat> yeah uh, Changing perspectives and goals of English language and literature teaching and learning. Yeah, uh, I think um, we are thankful uh, to some of um, the uh, post of uh, files by uh, Isnaini the last time he uh, posted this one, Approaches and Methods in a language teaching um, the second edition by Richard and Rogers <coughs> in uh, that book uh, the beginning uh, chapter one a brief history of language teaching yes I think um, in this meeting we will be talking about history history and history why because we would like to uh, show you that the changes uh, uh, in the LT yeah is actually the changes in goals yeah, uh, of learning and the changes um, in goals of learnings uh, also has implication in the uh, yeah, perspectives uh, of uh, English language teaching perspectives uh, results in finally uh, new ideas new thinking new perspectives yeah, uh, of uh, English language teaching. There is a statement in Richard and Rogers 2011, yeah, the, uh, no, 2001, this is the second edition, uh, chapter one, that changes in language teaching uh, methods uh, throughout history have reflected, uh, this one, uh, recognition